What is up, you guys? My name is Blitz Version One, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the second day of Reaction Week. Again, I apologize for that Markiplier episode. The fact that I didn't get a chance to finish it, I could have went back and tried to finish it, but I chose not to. I just decided to leave it as is. So, if you guys want to go see the rest of Mark's Leia preview, you'll have to go search it for yourself and find it yourself. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't have this problem with this episode. This episode, we're going to be breaking noses for science. Nose tattoo removal surgery from Jacksepticeye himself. So, now, fair warning, I might get queasy on this one because the last time I watched one of these videos, I actually did get queasy. I had to stop it and change to something else because I was about to vomit. And it's not because I'm, I don't like surgery stuff, or it's not because I don't have, I have a problem with blood or any bile and stuff like that. It's just legitimately because it was the ingrown toenail episode. I actually suffer from ingrown toenails, and I've dug them out myself, so I know how much that sucks. And seeing the pixelatedness of it, that just, that did it for me. It made it me so damn queasy. I, I was, my head was spinning and everything. I could not finish it. So. Hopefully this one won't be so bad since it's nose and tattoo removal surgery. So, without further ado, and I'm also wearing my cloak shirt again. So, I love this shirt so much. It's so comfortable. So, without further ado, here we go. Top of the morning to you ladies. I'm Dr. Jack and welcome back to my ER. Last time, we absolutely messed up someone's eyeballs. And we went inside someone's ass and we had a really great time. We what? threw a party in there. Everybody came. The polyps were there. Remember them? Yeah, it was a really oh, actually, great time. So this time, we're about to bash in someone's face and break their nose and do all this kind of stuff. So, th this is the rhinoplasty surgery, which is, I, I think it's basically just a nose job surgery. I but so. I guess we'll find out. Um, I think we did one like this in the other surgery game a while ago. I remember there being a nose surgery and me not liking it because I had to like cut off a Welcome chunk of it. Welcome to Surgery Squad's <laughs> virtual Susie, my baby! rhinoplasty <laughs> surgery. I'm Dr. Susie. You sure Today are. we will be performing <laughs> rhinoplasty. Okay. It's commonly referred to as a nose job. It's also where you insert a tiny baby rhinoceros inside someone's face. In this cosmetic <laughs> surgery, our patient is a young lady who... <laughs> hey little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Looking to change the shape of her nose. Okay. We'll perform a closed <coughs> rhinoplasty procedure to reshape her nose into something she finds more appealing. What's an open rhinoplasty surgery? Some surgeons surgery. will perform this surgery using a local anesthetic and sedation, which makes the patient numb and in a dreamlike state. I it's it's okay. This patient doesn't need any, any anesthesia because she's already numb from the inside. <laughs> you know, that's why that's that's what happens with a patient under when you lose your job and completely asleep Okay, what we're doing today is reshaping the bridge of the nose our patient feels it's too wide and doesn't like the hump on it Okay, the thinning of the nose is called an infracture. Hmm. I'll bet you can't guess what the widening of the nose is called uh, 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 A wide fracture All right, I'll tell you it's an out fracture. Oh, Some fracture. patients so may cool. also okay. want the tip of the nose reshaped. That's called. Uh, wait, wait! Don't don't tell me that's called a tip fracture. I I know these things. I'm a doctor. Tipoplasty. Ah, oh, he's yeah. so close. Okay. This patient only wants an in fracture and some reshaping. Easily okay, done. in fracture, out fracture, to begin tip this procedure, We need to open the nostrils as wide as possible. <laughs> We do this with a retractor. <laughs> Can you place the retractor in the patient's right nostril? Um, okay, I thought I used a retractor to measure angles. Okay. Protractor, okay, got it. I know, I'm a doctor. Okay, oh Jesus, hello. It's like, you don't mind if I, if I grab on your nozzle here, do you? Uh, you're asleep, who cares? Now with the oh nostril God. opened wide, we'll make an incision inside <laughs> in a crescent moon shape. <laughs> That will allow us ow. to access the bones and cartilage that make ow. up the nose structure. Okay, ow! I've made the incision. Can you use the forceps to remove that portion of the nostril? Oh, why? Ow. Ow. You must be hyper-vigilant when ow. doing this portion of the procedure. Oh, okay. It can ow. damage breathing and sense of smell. Oh, shit. Hello. I didn't even do anything yet. Okay. I have to be all these years of playing Operation at home, <laughs> taking the telephone bone out of the elbow. Wait. Very important, <sighs> I know how to do this now, watch. Oh! I to reshape the nose, we're going to chip off the dorsal hump with a chisel tool called the osteotone. Oh, my nose. 
We place the osteotome <laughs> at the it bottom, right and then carefully <laughs> tap on it with a small rubber mallet. Okay. This has to be done very gently and takes a careful oh, touch. Oh shit! Okay, you got it positioned. Okay, I'm I'ma just tippy tap all up inside your nose. Okay, right, okay, Karen. Okay, she's asleep. I was just making sure. I wasn't actually trying to get her attention. It's just if I yelled and then she said, "Huh," then I know she's not asleep. But okay, here we go. You said gently. Okay, maybe you should not leave this part to the to the amateur. Okay. Well, what am I talking about? I'm a professional. Here we go. Fuck! Get rid of that hump. Oh, get out of there, the hump. hump! Is loosened. We need to pull the bone and cartilage out of the nose. Okay. Okay. Use my feet the tweezer-like forceps to pull <laughs> it out of the incision. <laughs> now that the bump is out of there, we need oh. to smooth the edges on both sides with a rasp. The okay. space left by the bone we've removed is referred to oh. as an open roof. Ah, oh, just like our shed back home. <laughs> Seems like our shed got a rhinoplasty. To close the open roof, carefully tap the osteotome along the path that I've marked. This breaks the nasal bones so we can reposition them. <laughs> tap the osteotome once each time I reposition it on the left and right nostrils. Okay. Okay. This is the thing that wears me out about nose jobs is that, like, the other surgeries, it's all, like, very careful incisions. Very careful, like, peeling putting stuff in, injecting, all this. This is literally just a fucking hammer and a chisel. It's- I might as well be making Michelangelo's David all up inside your face. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally breaking her nose so it repositions itself back into a proper place. It's- I feel like- I feel like this is the one where like, barbaric science back in like the old days didn't oh. really evolve. Some other oh, stuff like eye surgery, heart surgery, oh. all that stuff did. This one they're like, this technically works. Maybe we should just keep doing this. And like the Neanderthal is over there with his, his mallet and his rock and he's just like, oh, you know? Now that the bones are broken, I just take my fingers and reposition them to close the open roof. Because we made such perfect just breaks, on one side. the bones slip right into place and the nose is perfect. What happens if you don't make the perfect breaks? Oh, it's a very nice touch putting in the bruising. That is what would happen. Uh, the eyelids are were bruised before. That's from all the heroin that Karen did. <laughs> Ow, my knee. A few stitches to close up the incisions, <sighs> and then we place nasal airway splints in each nostril to hold things in place. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen I've seen videos of that. I've seen videos of people with like broken noses after the surgery getting the stuff pulled out. Oh, it's making me feel really weird right now. But they pull oh. out like the gauze or the splints that are in there and they just yank. And that must be super painful, but also very liberating. It's like, it's like that time when my sock felt weird and I took it off and my ankle felt all nice and itchy. <laughs> you know, exact same thing. What? Sarah strips go across the nose and an external nasal splint is added to hold everything tight. And now you're ready for swimming. The patient will have some bruising and minor pain for a few days. What the fuck is that? the swellings in about a week. Most of the swelling minor pain for a few days. Now you're ready for swimming. Is Our patient will have some bruising is added to hold everything tight. Go across the nose I and an far. external nasal splint is added to hold everything tight. And now you're ready time. for swimming. Our patient will have some bruising and minor pain for a few days. We'll remove the splints oh, in about shit. a week. Most of the swelling will be gone by then. It looks like you just got in a bar fight and you have a big old bruised face. But there can be a bit left for a few months. And there we have it. Thanks for coming by. But Catch you only did one side! Here at SurgerySquad.com. Look at this! Look at this surgery Squad was so cool looking! They had sunglasses! Where's my sunglasses? Where's Dr. Susie's sunglasses? I do not trust a doctor without sunglasses anymore! Now that I've seen a doctor with sunglasses, there can only be doctors with sunglasses. Okay, now that I'm horrified about what my nose is capable of, let's go uh. off and do something else. Oh, uh, this might be an interesting one to do. I've never- I've seen some stuff about laser tattoo removals, but I've never actually seen- This one might be what interesting, actually. What they actually do. Actually, this one might be really interesting, because I have tattoos myself. I don't know how many of you guys out there actually do have tattoos. Tattoos. But, each one of my tattoos has something to do with myself. Whether it be my first tattoo, whether it be my second tattoo, my third tattoo, my fourth or my fifth. You guys all know my fifth one because he pokes out all the damn time because stuff like that. And I do want more tattoos. I'm going to get 
my other fox, my other kit in here. I just don't know which one I'm going to put for Serenity when she gets born. But, yeah, and then her name will go on the bottom of the tail. You can't see the whole thing because it's humongous. But there's Colton's name right there, and her name will go right underneath the tail perfectly. I mean, the way I have it spaced out, it'll fit perfectly around that tail. Nice and art. It's going to look fantastic. But, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get into some laser. Dude. Removal. Luckily, these these people only tattooed onto a peanut, so that mustn't that wouldn't be too hard to get that off that. But let's figure out how we get some off humans. You know, just in case I think that my badass awesome tattoo is going to look bad in a few years, which is exactly what everyone tells you when you get a tattoo. It's like, are are, are you sure you want to have that tattoo? Are you sure in like thirty years? Yeah, you know, when positive. you're old, that tattoo is going to look weird. I'm like. Bitch, when I'm old, I'll just be happy that I'm still alive and I can walk. Right. And I, I'll just be happy that my penis still works to go to the bathroom. You know, I don't think I'm going to worry about what ink is on my flappy skin. The surgery squad's laser <laughs> tattoo removal. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll Dr. be assisting Susie. you with this procedure today. Where's your glasses? According to a recent poll, oh, that's cool. over 50% <laughs> of those with tattoos want at least one removed. They say not this but one. But that is surely not this one. Because that is awesome. I agree. Let's take a little skeleton Elvis. <laughs> it was skeleton really Elvis. Cool. I did being too young when they got it. A new career or significant life changes, such as divorce or childbirth, as reasons why they no longer want them. <laughs> yeah, and every Luckily, there's name. laser tattoo removal. Laser Luckily. tattoo removal is a procedure that uses a powerful laser that reacts with the ink of a tattoo to break it down into tiny particles. Whoa. The laser directly targets the tattoo pigment and leaves the surrounding skin virtually untouched. Virtually. After the ink is broken down, it is removed by the body's immune system, creating a natural looking fade that typically only time or sun exposure would produce. Wow, you know I love me that fade. You know, people say tattoos fade anyway, um, but having the laser removed, you get that sick fade. You know, that real fade. Um, that's cool though. I, I wonder is it painful? Although laser tattoo removal is considered highly effective after multiple treatments, those interested need to keep in mind that yellow, green, and fluorescent tattoo inks are much more difficult to fade. Yeah. Our patient today is a male in his mid-20s who <laughs> got a tattoo on his calf when he was a teenager. What? <laughs> it's like, he is totally not a 3D model character in the middle of all these other real people. Also, wouldn't it be so awesome if the glasses were actually the tattoo? <laughs> he got a tattoo of sunglasses on his face. Now he wants it removed because it made him look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> now that he's older, he doesn't see the tattoo as being so attractive anymore. In fact, he's come to us to get it removed. So Aww. let's scrub in and see what we can do for him. Okay, Dr. Susie, I'm Before going we in. Before we begin, we need to go back in time to the day he Rolled picked out his bones. tattoo. <laughs> Help him pick out a real winner. Use the arrows to scroll through the tattoos. I actually Click get to choose pick when the you have tattoo? made up your mind. I mean, it's really good to roll them bones. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I love the I love the caption of that type text here. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, oh it fit. Fit. Okay. Um or arse biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bad tattoo. I don't know why you ever got that one. Oh no! Oh, God, oh no! Oh, ugly baby! Oh, that's cool. That one's actually kind of cool. I kind of <laughs> like that one. I'm not going to give you that one. Spring, Spring Break, break 99. Break, Never get tattoos that date themselves because that's that's pretty bad. I mean, unless they have like a very special significance to you or it's like. The day a loved one passed on or something like that. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life. You can get whatever tattoos you want. But anything with like names or dates or anything like like this kind of one. Usually people regret them after a while. Oh, oh god. No, I would regret that one instantly. That's... Did someone draw this after taking their Crayola course? Oh, roll them bones. Really good. As, no, as much as I love arse biscuits, I'm gonna have to go and roll to bones. Roll to bones. There we go. We're putting the tattoo on him so we can have a demonstration of how to take the tattoo off him. <laughs> We're scientists. We're doctors. We roll know what to do. Bones. Seriously? <laughs> Let's make that tattoo disappear. 
<laughs> During our patient's initial consultation... You see, what people don't know about doctors is that not only are they people who can heal, they have healing, helping hands, they're also magicians. So, let's make that tattoo disappear. disappear. Also, if I put down arse biscuits, would you have written, or would you have read that out? It was recommended that he take a non-aspirin pain medication prior to the procedure to reduce any discomfort he may experience. Okay. Other than that, there really isn't any other preparation needed. So, let's get started. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, I, I'm assuming it does hurt then. I mean, you are blasting a laser into your skin, but what do I know? I've never had that happen. I've never had one of those. I know that getting the tattoo itself can hurt. Yeah. My one didn't hurt that bad. It's a little bit, but not that not, After not a while, it's unbearable. Uh, tattoos just, they hurt after a while. Like, if you get, like my back piece, my fox on my back, which no, hardly anyone's going to see. It's got some uh, holograms that scratched out, but I think that just adds to the look of it. It's an Ace of Spades Fox, all jet black. It turned out really good. I like it. I love it. I'm never going to get it removed. But at the same time, it's on my back, so not very many people can see it unless I go swimming or, you know, something like that. You guys might see it eventually if I ever have to take my, top, my shirt off for any reason, then you'll see all the tattoos I have. But that's completely fine. Like I said, I'm completely open about all my tattoos. I have, you know, you guys know I'll go into a tattoo, blog, a tattoo vlog if you guys want me to do that. But, what was I going to say? Yeah, the... I was literally sitting there with my shirt off on a chair like this for about almost two hours, an hour and a half straight almost, because the, the artist had to take a break. The guy had to take a break because he was getting tired. It was hurting me, I, but I just wanted to get it over and done with, just get it all done, get it done. But yeah, and after a while, my Reaper, uh, some of these started to hurt because it hit bone. It's like the, the less meat there is, the more it'll hurt, because if it hits bone, then yeah, it hurts a little bit more. But up here by my, you know, there's more muscle, it didn't hurt as bad. Now when they kept going over and over and over it, yeah, it started to hurt. But, and my family, my fox here didn't hurt nearly at all. I think maybe the tips of the ears hurt a little bit. But again, that's because it got real close to my clavicle. and There's not much, there's not much meat and fat there. It's just almost straight to bone. So, maybe I keep getting off track, off um. topic. <laughs> A lot of patients describe the pain from the laser as feeling like a hundred rubber bands striking the skin at the same time. So Ow. to begin the procedure, we'll need to place a cold compress on the tattoo for a few seconds. Wow. This will help reduce the pain caused by the laser. Go ahead and place the cold compress on the tattoo. Instant the chill instant back. Chill back. <laughs> if I ever make a band again, I'm calling it the instant chill pack. You know what? I'm just going to call them. You guys can be the instant chill pack. That's it. For years, five years in the making, we've been wondering what to call Jacksepticeye subscribers. People are like, because we call it Septic Army. Maybe we call it the Septic Eyes. Or we'll call it the Laddies, or something like that. And I've refuted all of them. But this time, you the guys are now the chill, chill pack. Hell the yeah, instant dude. chill pack. And you know what? It works both ways because you guys ain't got no chill. It's pretty good. Also, I like how it's made by Dr. Jeff. <laughs> non toxic, reusable. I always want that in a, in a chill pack. That's the thing. You guys are a non-toxic community. It's perfect. That will do. Now we need to use the laser to fade the tattoo. Different okay. types of lasers react with certain colors of tattoo ink. Okay, Jerry. One laser might work perfectly for reds and oranges, but not Jerry. so great on greens or black. Hold on. So we'll use a variety of lasers to get the desired result. To help okay. relieve some of the pain associated with the procedure, We'll also use a machine that blows icy cold air on the area being treated. Wow. Let's start by targeting any red or orange ink areas. Okay, red or orange ink areas. Okay, boom. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How does that feel, Jerry? <laughs> you, it, like a hundred elastic bands at once? Now it must feel like a thousand elastic bands at once. Oh, my God, I'm <laughs> melting his leg. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that it? Are we are we good? Did I do it? I think I did it. Next up is green, blue, or other darker colors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is fun. It's <laughs> really fun. good time. What about you, Jerry? Finally, we'll remove the black. Okay. Um. Wow. <laughs> All gone. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye. All of that gone. 
Get rid of all that ink. Ink is stink. We don't want it in our bodies anymore. Our body is a temple, especially our calves. Now that we've completed the first treatment, we'll need to place the cold compress on the treatment area to release oh. some of the pain. You know what time it is? It's time for the instant chill pack. Bring it in, everybody. Let's see. Let's give him some chill. Some non-toxic chill. Everyone needs to just you did chill great. out. Our patient is ready to go. Immediately Thanks. after each treatment, the tattoo may feel sunburned, and it is extremely important to keep it covered until it heals. Mm. If our patient fails to do this, <laughs> they will die. <laughs> If if you don't if you don't cover your tattoo after laser removal, you will get infected and you will die. Like if you have sex, you will get babies and you will die. That's what, that's what happens. And the results of the treatments may be negative. That was a mean infected. girl's reference, by the way. Roll the bandage over the treated area. Okay, there you go. Oh Jesus. <laughs> As stated earlier, our patient's tattoo will only begin to fade after multiple treatments. So you shouldn't expect the tattoo to go away during one session. While oh, the Jesus. tattoo may not be completely removed, it should be lighter and much less visible than before. And that's laser tattoo removal. Well done! That's it. Look, Why back. not try your surgical <laughs> skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com? No, I want to take. I want to get some sunglasses and be a cool doctor and be part of the su uh, Surgery Squad. Suicide, suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> movie. Uh, <laughs> comics. Oh. Man, that one wasn't so bad. That was pretty cool. The, the nose one was pretty bad, but yeah, that one that was, was okay. Wow. That one was all right. I learned. I learned a little thing. It was pretty much exactly what I thought it was. The the laser removal. Yeah. Um, and the nose one I had already seen in the other surgery. So all in all, a great day. I don't feel like I have to scrape the innards of my eyeballs anymore and try and figure out how I'm going to live life anymore. Cause this these were these were okay. Well. <laughs> And on that note, Jack, I'm going to go ahead and leave that with leave that one there. That was awesome. I'm glad we were able to get through it in about 17 minutes, 25 seconds. This video shouldn't be too awfully long. It's going to be a little longer than Jack's video because I stopped and ranted a little bit. Because, well, I, again, tattoos are big with me because I love tattoos. I love getting tattoos. I love just the idea of art being permanently attached to your skin till you die. And it's amazing. But all that being said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys do and are enjoying this reaction week. And hopefully you guys are having a fantastic new year. I don't know yet because it's not the new year yet when I'm recording this. So, pow. <laughs> all that being said, again, if you guys have any other ideas for anything else, anything else you guys want to see for reaction week, feel free to put those in the comments down below in any video. Whether it be this video, whether it be older videos, new videos that are coming out, anything like that. Anything you guys can come up with, like just poof. Put it up there if you can put a link in there, that'd be great. If not, just say, hey, you know, try looking this up. I want to see what you react to this at. And if it's on YouTube, I'll put it in a playlist. That way I can just go through the playlist and it makes it a lot easier. So that way it's for future reaction weeks. Because I do these, if you guys are new to the channel, I do reaction week once a, or once a month, every month. At the, the first through the seventh of every month is reaction week. It's seven videos, straight up, just reacting to either YouTubers, either reacting to other things, stuff like that. But anything you guys want to see me react to, feel free to put those in the comments down below and let me know. Uh, all these are always put in the description down below, so you guys can go check them out. And I usually also put the uh, YouTuber themselves, whether it be Jack, Mark, PewDiePie, anybody else, I usually put them at the, on my outro screen as well. So, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And peace out. Uh, Ciao.